My name is Roger Z. I'm the host of The Working Musician, a feature of the website, theworkingmusician.com. I'm proud to present original music from the northeast coast of the United States. Tonight we feature Thomas Itty. Uh, Thomas and I have a lot in common. Thomas usually plays every Thursday night at a local club called Victor's in Hawthorne. Hawthorne is around 14 minutes from White Plains. You came highly recommended to me from Joe No, who runs the open mic. Right. Now you have an interesting background. You originally grew up not in the U.S.? Yes. So speak up, tell me about it. Um, I grew up in Bangalore, which is in India, and it's now the IT capital of the world. But when I was growing up, it was a sleepy little place. Um, none of the, it was called the pensioner's paradise. Um, and I grew up, I went to a British school, and uh, I grew up uh, listening to pretty much um, what most kids here would have listened to. Plus, really? Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. When I used to travel around and meet people, I would say I was from New York City, even though I wasn't, because they never heard of wherever right. real. So when you say Bangalore, is that the real name of where you grew up? Grew up? Yes, I grew up right in the middle of Bangalore. Okay. Anyway, right. let's talk about your record. I'm just looking at it. Hopefully, they're flashing it on the screen. From there to here. Right. So this is, uh, now you told me earlier that you've written uh, over a hundred songs and you're just now getting to putting them down? Um, yes, I've been um, writing songs since I was 17 years old. and So that's around five years ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I have started recording them in around 2000. So I actually went to a studio, I went to, uh, I don't know if you've heard of him, he's a producer called, uh, his name is Steve Hansen and he has a studio in Connecticut. And I went there in 2000, and since then, any time I could, I've been recording songs. And uh, is the album just you vocals and guitar, or do you have other instruments on it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a full production. It's, uh, so you have drums and... Yes, um, yeah. So we'll just have to imagine the full production today. Right. Now, people can usually see you every Tuesday at Victor's, uh, you mentioned you go to the Mohansic. Uh, I play at Mohansic. I play in Peekskill. I play, play in uh, Beacon Silver Spoon sometimes. Okay, uh, people can check your check your website, yes. which is called thomascity.com. Okay, I'm going to have my people move my chair off okay. the stage. <laughs> now you've got around 18 minutes or so to okay. play your tunes. Um. I'll start off with uh, the first track on, on my CD. This one uh, is called Time Will Show. Um, a lot of my songs have this uh, reference to time, uh, and this is one of them. Mm -hmm. I can't wait forever I ain't got the time gotta keep on moving gotta stay in line don't be disheartened if I move too fast for you gotta do it all before my time is through uh -huh. Time will show what's ahead down the road. Time will show mm -hmm -hmm. if we've been there before. Time will show, oh yeah, what happens to our soul. Time will show mm -hmm. what you and I. Do not know It's cold In the winter It's warm In the spring If 
if I had a stop to look, I wouldn't have missed a thing. People and places, they just fade away. The only thing you have are your yesterdays. Hey, hey, hey. next one is uh, the title track from my CD. It's called From There to Here. It's about um, the history of the world. thousands of years if you're counting from dinosaurs and neanderthals we've been evolving it's been a long time from there to here but it's not clear if we learn from our mistakes and our tears The pharaohs believed they could live forever in their mausoleums You can find their shivel bones now in the museums It's been a long time from there to hear, but it's not clear. If we learn from our mistakes and our tears, the crusades were about killing each other in the name of religion. Then they added a little pain and torture at the Inquisition It's been a long time from there to here but it's not clear If we learn from our mistakes and our tears The dark ages the Renaissance and the age 
We're followed by the news at 10 on television. It's been a long time from there to here, but it's not clear. If we learn from our mistakes in our tears, This one is called Bangalore. This is the city I come from. Uh, and more than uh, being about the city, it's also about the downside of progress and what happens when um, a city gets developed. Everything I know has changed My town 
a wing and a prayer Traffic policemen wear masks Cause you can't breathe the air Bangalore I'll do a new song. This is uh, only a couple of months old. Um, it's called Exit to Danger. Black cat sitting by the side of the interstate. Old woman with no teeth says she knows my fate. The fires burn down below Pretty young thing offers you a blow You've only got a moment to decide After all Exit the danger, see the signs Exit the danger Lines. It may be an adventure, but you may not make it home alive. Exit the danger, be advice. Starting that war seemed easy at the start. the bad guys and win those natives' hearts But soon a thousand of our soldiers are dead They're capturing journalists and cutting off heads It don't seem like a good idea after all Exit the danger See the sign may not make it home alive Exit the danger be advised Using fossil fuels used to be the cardinal rule Till the earth got hotter and it wasn't so cool Personally, I don't think that anything's really ever going to change until they come out with Homo sapien 2.0. Right. <laughs> I mean, you sing about the uh, Middle Ages, the Inquisition. We still kill people for their religion. Right. It's a uh, fact of 
It's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's unbelievable. And, and now, the interesting thing is you can watch a TV show like Game of Thrones and just see how ugly humanity really is. Right. <clears throat> but hopefully, hopefully, you know, you have a nice family and you can at least protect your family from the ruthlessness of the world. Right. Um, yeah, so you, you're like an epic songwriter. I mean, we were talking about this before. Um, we were talking about the, uh, the heavy metal group, I'm forgetting their name, who flew, who flew around the world in their plane. Right, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. And I could, I could hear them doing your songs. Right. You know, putting dual guitar leads in there, jacking up the beat a little bit. Yeah. I don't hear any uh, Bollywood in it, though. They I, didn't have it, Bollywood, right? They did, but it's funny that when I was in India, I never watched a Bollywood movie, but then I came here and my wife loves Bollywood movies, so now we've watched, uh, you know, I had to come here to watch a lot of uh, Bollywood movies, but they're fun, yeah. Yeah, I enjoy them. I enjoy them. Um, I think the funniest one I saw was not really a Bollywood movie, but it was a movie where they outsourced a fulfillment house from um, America to India. Yeah, I, w I think we were starting, we started watching that. It was called Outsource, if That's I'm not right. mistaken. And yeah. at the end of it, even though they're operating out of a cow pasture with stolen electricity, they decided to move it to China because it was even cheaper there. Right. <laughs> So it was kind of funny. But anyway, your influences, who insp you said you grew up and you listened to uh, many of the same things I did. Who are the people who inspired you to pick up a guitar? Um, I, would, I, would, I don't consider myself a musician per se because uh, I think my son has got better instincts uh, when it comes to actually playing the guitar. Uh, for me, it was more about writing songs. Um, and I wanted to learn to play just so I could put the tunes that were in my head uh, down in some fashion. So even now, if I don't have to, I don't play. I'd rather have better players than me uh, interpret my songs. So which songwriters influenced you? I would say, you know, Dylan, of course, as, as a singer-songwriter, but I had influences from England and America. So from America, it would be J.J. Cale was a big influence for me. He was one uh, of my favorites. Right. Uh, Cat Stevens. Another great. Right. Um, the Grateful Dead, you know. So it's a bunch of different, plus you talked about heavy metal, but it's like some of those heavy British bands like Uriah Heep, um, you know, melodic uh, hard rock, Wishbone Ash. Um, Here's a funny story. The leader of Wishbone Ash lives in Connecticut now. Really? Yeah, I'm friends with him on Facebook, Andy oh. Powell. Oh, okay. So you can, when you get home, type in Andy Powell. Right. And you can, you know, he's, he lives in Connecticut and then he tours the world. I guess he's happy to get away from, get out of the house for a while. Yeah, that, that was the first uh, concert I went to. Which, Which one? I, they were the first. They were great. They were the first uh, non-Indian band to play in India. So it was a big deal, I remember. Yeah, now we talked about it. The new market for heavy metal is South America. Right. It's insane. Uh, okay, so, wow, we have a lot of the similar tastes and similar influences. It was a pleasure speaking to you. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for uh, having me over and uh, appreciate it. And yeah, well, you know, try to give. I try to give back a little bit. Um, but thanks for coming. Thank you.